The gradebook has a ton of great features in Canvas, and the best part about the gradebook is that it takes very little time to set up, um, and it's a really dynamic way to organize, analyze, and share feedback regarding student progress. To access the gradebook, uh, you know, simply uh, go in your course to the left-hand side of the course navigation and select Grades. Um, from there, you can go ahead and see any assignments that you've created, uh, which are listed here in blue, or if you're using a weighted gradebook, what the uh, current weight for that student is. You can look at it, uh, the grades uh, per student, uh, you can look at the grades uh, for the class, and you can look at across uh, grading periods. You'll notice that any assignments that have been created for the class will show up in the gradebook uh, as long as they are listed uh, as, as an assignment to be graded. The gradebook within Canvas is an extremely powerful way to um, give student feedback while not creating a ton of work for yourself as an instructor. In fact, what we've heard time and time again is many of our middle school colleagues have talked about it being a much more efficient means for providing feedback. So in the following uh, couple of minutes, I'm going to share with you uh, a couple of ways to start thinking about the Canvas gradebook. The Canvas gradebook is really uh, built out of assignments, and assignments can be uh, assignments that you have uh, set up on a student's calendar, um, but they can also be quizzes or discussions or any other interactive elements within Canvas. Assignments can link to rubrics, so you can define predefined criterion reference rubrics um, that allow you to uh, grade a, uh, an assignment uh, within Canvas. Rubrics can be graded using SpeedGrader. SpeedGrader can also be used to grade uh, a number of different artifacts within Canvas. And then finally, all of, this, uh, all of these materials uh, will then be housed in the gradebook, which is then available to students. You can simply use assignments in uh, the gradebook uh, in the early stages of Canvas when you're just getting familiar uh, with Canvas. The second kind of uh, gradebook that's available uh, is the Learning Mastery uh, and Outcomes Gradebook within Canvas. And this really uh, works uh, in conjunction with the regular gradebook. You'll notice um, that next to grades is Learning Mastery. In order to use Learning Mastery, you'll notice that you'll need to set up outcomes. And outcomes really uh, link to uh, your course objectives, and they're a great way of measuring student progress over time and student learning, and really being able to filter students' um, expertise and mastery of uh, skills and content and materials based on the course objectives for both you and for your students. Uh, these two work uh, hand in hand together. Uh, as you get fam more familiar with the uh, assignments and the gradebook, and eventually rubrics and uh, speed grader, you may find that outcomes uh, are a really way, uh, e helpful way for providing even more robust feedback to students. In the following uh, videos and exercises, we're going to go ahead and start creating uh, our gradebook.